Is that a non-man? No, that's Daphne. Where's Fred? Felled by dark magic. I'm standing in. A non-man? Doing sporty man things? That's a laugh, isn't it? Huh, well, Norval, after you lose, maybe I can find a job for you on my staff. What are your thoughts on waste removal? I've got a few ripe buckets of... Actually, King Arthur, in my land, non-men, uh, women, can do whatever they put their minds to. And some of them are pretty scary. Point view, but so worth it. Cheese? Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Daphne, you're my knight in shining armor.
afraid of heights. <laughs> Raggy, look. <laughs> At long last, the Destiny Scroll is mine. <laughs> Stop, thief! You will not be allowed to escape. <laughs> Like, are we in space, Scooby-Doo? Cause I am seeing stars. You can relax. This is not Mechamut. This is Rover One, an early prototype designed by me. I'm Dr. Devin Albright. But I thought Dr. Staples invented the canine Mars Rover. That's just what he lets people think. But it was my idea. I worked years perfecting it. A two-man operated four-legged all-terrain vehicle. I was on my way to developing a rover that could be operated on Mars completely by wireless remote. But NASA allowed Dr. Staples to take over my project because he was a famous astronaut, a national hero. What better way to increase funds for the project? And I? I was left with nothing. But I'm not bitter. Oh, that sniff? That's the sniff of deliciousness! <laughs> Whoa! This must be where the space guys hang out. Hmm. Like, this must be what the astronauts eat on their missions. Space food. <laughs> Pumpkin pie! <laughs> 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 Blueberry cheesecake. <laughs> Maybe we should take some to sustain ourselves on our mission, Scoop. Right. Countdown to snack time. <laughs> But I guess I... Huh? Here goes nothing! 
It shoots oil slicks? Take that. That ought to keep him busy. It has a smoke screen? Phew. Turn back there, Gap. Maybe you should slow down. You know, safety. <laughs> Anyway, generous, always willing to lend a hand. But if life has taught me anything, it is that anything one man has, another man may take. And I mean to take this town's love from the so called Dapper Jack. Yes, Sheriff Carmichael wanted everyone to love him the way they loved Dapper Jack, so he framed him for cattle wrestling. He turned the whole town against him. Here, he says he had trouble catching Jack because of his amazing abilities on horseback, which, as you've all seen, his descendant Shaggy inherited from him. Does he say anything about not being able to grow a full beard? Because I definitely inherited that from someone. Now listen to this. May 17th, 1867. Finally caught Dapper Jack by Minchel Pike. He was a fast draw, but a poor shot. As it turns out, Jack Rogers is more useful dead than he ever was alive. I can commit all manner of crimes and blame Dapper Jack, the great outlaw. The whole town curses his name. One day, I will simply disappear for a week or so, then return with a tale of tracking down and ending Dapper Jack. I will be remembered forever as a hero, while Jack Rogers' name goes down in the annals of infamy. Well, clearly the sheriff was a byproduct of bad parenting. Just as Sheriff Carmichael used Dapper Jack to steal from the town, someone else is now using Dapper Jack's ghost to steal from the town. And that someone is... Rafe! <gasps> <laughs> Why, that's just plain... Uh... <laughs> After him! <laughs> Howdy, partner. Nice robin, Scooby-Doo. It was you? But why? <sighs> I lined up a deal with a company that builds resorts. They offered millions for the Sorghum City area. But why would you pretend to be a ghost? The company wanted to theme the resort around Dapper Jack the Outlaw. So I came up with the fake ghost. It would build up interest in the outlaw stories. And it would scare people off so I could buy their land through my company. Black Rattler Management. How'd you know it was me? Simple. You said you built the Dude Ranch's website yourself, and you used El Kabong font. No professional would use that font. No one with any taste or self-respect would... Easy there, Velma. Anyway, I saw the font again on the Black Rattler Management business card we found. There can't possibly be two people in the world who would use that font. I mean, look at it! Man, Tarek. Right wall, a talking skull. Right wall. I'm so scared. I wish I had a ham sandwich to calm my nerves. Well, what do you know? A ham sandwich. 
Wouldn't you know it needs some mustard? Mm -hmm. This has got to be my imagination. Otherwise, I'd be scared stiff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe my imagination can, like, cut it in half? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey, look! Shaggy found Daphne! For once, he used his head. Oh! Are you all right? Yeah. Just as soon as I have six or seven sandwiches. He's all right, all right. <laughs> there goes that crazy wind again. Crazy wind? Nothing! <laughs> I warn you. Leave Haunted Isle and never return. The Phantom has spoken. Grab <laughs> <laughs> <Pack> that Phantom! Shaggy. First, no phantom's gonna scare us away. Second, why does he want us off this island so bad? And third, we're marooned. I'll buy that last one. Hey, fellas, over here, a clue. Look, I found a key in this old chest. It must belong to the phantom. Hey, there's some writing on it. It says, second passage of the old bell. Second passage? Old bell? There's no old bell in this old castle. Hmm. I've got it. The word passage must mean a passage in a book. Then the old bell must be the name of a book. That's right. Yeah. And the best place to find a book is in the library. Right. Come on. Uh, Zoinks! Uh, Look at that uh, creep. He's after Daphne. Run, Daphne, run. Don't worry, I'm running. Uh, uh, Shaggy, we've got to get across that moat. I'll lasso that statue over the door, and you and Scooby can swing over and lower the drawbridge. We can? Oh, uh, drawbridge? You've got to do it to save Daphne. Okay, yeah. let it go. <laughs> Hang on, Scooby. <laughs> You missed me! They made it! You stand guard while I figure out how to lower the drawbridge. Yes, sir. Who's that? I got it! You have to pull out this locking bar. Hey, stop that clowning around, Scooby. A werewolf? Hold this, friend! Back him 
up just a little more. Now! That's just how I planned it. Now get me down. Lump! Something about needing bracelets. We're all set. He's making a run for it. Let's cut him off. Come on, Scooby. Wait for me. <laughs> Fred, Wilma, Lovely, Raggy. Scooby Doo, like, am I ever glad to see you? Likewise. <laughs> is passed by touch. Let him touch some steel. <laughs> ah, frolicking in Her Majesty's filth pit, are ye? Be gone from there, you miserable pirates. <laughs> He's headed toward the entrance. Stop that move!
Hey, that's got to be the miner. But where's Scooby? some trapping old school style. Kids done now. <laughs> Maybe my ventriloquism bit can get us out of this jam. If I can throw my voice to make it sound like it's coming from the room, he might leave. Help! Let me out of this pot! <laughs> Help! <laughs>
Like I said before, what a ham. <laughs> from the party. Two wizards? What is going on? Why, this would be so cool if I wasn't so terrified! has three rings exactly like yours. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Like I second that, Scoob. Quick, everybody, back in the van. Shaggy, I need your snack sack. Daphne, slide over and put the snack sack on your seat. Okay, ready to launch. Like we got her! What's all this gruesome graffiti? It says, 
Winged Protector, arise and guard this castle. Don't look now, but I think it's a lizard. made that dessert appear out of nowhere? Uh, not really. I was watching Crystal. All she did was point. It's the way she did it, so effortlessly. I can point, too. Usually when you do, you knock my glasses off. Easy, Velma. She hasn't done that in at least an hour. Haha, <laughs> very funny, Scarf Boy. <laughs> Well, in your school, I didn't expect dodging monsters to be a part of the curriculum. Good day, sir. But we didn't know the Griffin was real. Poor Whirlin. There go the rest of his students. Where are you going? Aren't we taking Madeline home because of the Griffin? No, Shaggy. The Griffin has us curious. <laughs> <laughs> jump in that a few minutes ago. Whatever. That's when I was the other guy. You know, the brave one. I don't know much about hypnosis, Shaggy, but I know one thing. It cannot make you do things you couldn't do without it. All that stuff you did when you were brave, that was you. It's inside you. You just have to let it out. <laughs> like, give me a movie line. What? Okay. Um... I need one of those movie line thingies to say before I jump. Uh, okay. Uh, how about when you say jump, I say how high? Fred 
that doesn't make any sense. Does it matter? All right. <laughs> Say jump! I say how high! I'm down, right there on the ground, lying out flat on my face. Who is the pup picking me up, getting me back in the race? Who'll be around and watching my back, guide me along and keep me on track? Forever he's there, we're a pair, Scooby and me. When the going gets tough and things can get rough, you're the one on whom I depend. Who, oh, me? I'll give you the proof. I'll climb up on the roof <laughs> and shout to the world, you're my friend. Oh. And when I'm a vampire roaming the night, because you're my pal, I'll just take a small bite. Oh. You're one of the greats and we're mates. Scooby and me. <laughs> oh, Scooby and me. We're going to be together for good. That buddy of mine, if you're ever in doubt, need me helping you out. You know that I would if I got time If you're ever in jail and you're needing some bail Or a friend to set you free You can always count on me Cause tell me where would I be Without you by my side, my friend and my guide Helping to carry me through People go by, if I live or I die They wouldn't care, but not you You are the one who keeps me at ease Giving me love and occasional please. No matter what comes, we are chumps. Scooby and me. Yep. <laughs> In the interest of public safety, I am hereby issuing a dusk to dawn curfew. No one is to be out past dark. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now that is the one like it. This extreme measure is seen as a victory for local anti-vampire crusader and now mayoral candidate, Jesper Bubel. Closing us down, but that isn't fair. I'm warning you all, you better beware. You're messing with me and you'll see, you're all gonna pay. Oh, I'm broke, I'm ruined, what will I do? Oh, what happens when the rent is due? Oh, watch out, my friends, there's vampires on the loose. And that's why I brought the noose. You just killed a golden goose. Bill got a show here. to do. Curtain out. Hey, Scooby-Doo. Oh, it's show it's review. It's time to shut them down. What would I do? Bear to claim it's true. Who bell shame on you. We're not the same as you. Where would I be without you? Oh. Scooby and me, we always will be together yeah. forever as friends. Don't want vampires. So you are the one, second to none. The power which your body depends. The show goes on. Not now, Scoob. <laughs> Guys, get here! We're locked in! Deacon, what are you doing? The name ain't Deacon, Tuts. It's Babyface Beretti. Huh? I admit, I did not see that coming. <laughs> that way! Uh, no, 
Now what? Well, I'd love to stay in chat, but I got a date with a treasure. I told you to get out, but you didn't listen. Now, you're gonna pay. So for our home viewers, now's the time to stick that meat thermometer in. But for everybody here at the state-of-the-art Rocky Harbor, all we need to do is wait until... Skip. Yeah, Rocky? Your chicken has reached an internal temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Your chicken is ready. Whoa, huh? Thank you, Rocky. Take it out and let me know when it's rested for 10 minutes. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Lots of stuff uses electricity around here. Sorry about that, everyone! I gotta make sure we pay that power bill! <laughs> Knock out! Who, who's there, Skip? Uh, be, beats me! No, I mean, the speed at the door! No! Oh, oh, great. Oh, oh. no. Red Ghost! All right, all right. It's not a. Ah! Did you hear that? Sorry. Bella! Why is he chasing us? I know, maybe he's the ghost of a librarian. Who cares? Just do what he says and hush up. Patented corkscrew counter crunch. Um, exactly how many more play by play Scooby snack attacks will we have to endure before WWE City? Like we brought everything we had. Scooby and I need to keep our energy up so we can cheer like crazy at the main event. 
There's so many boxes, I can't even see the luggage. Luggage? You, you didn't pack the luggage? Whoa. <gasps> of all the food-induced insane things you two have done, this absolutely takes the cake. Mmm, cake. I mean it! Like, what's the big deal? We all wear the same outfits every single day anyway. Yeah, you gotta admit it. He does have a point. Hmm. Hey, look! My WWE City, next exit! Hold the phone! <laughs> Looks like we're stuck. There's a car coming. Maybe they can help. Well now, this ain't a good place for a breakdown. Can we help you kids out? John Cena! Wow. Okay. Looks like you kids ran into some trouble. This ain't safe, champ. We gotta keep moving. Calm down, Cookie. I'm just saying that it's dangerous out here at night, what with the bear trouble and all. That's why Ruben, my nephew here, and I have been following the superstars on their jobs. Hi. Well, these kids aren't going anywhere while their van is stuck. This shouldn't take long. Uh, what's he gonna do? Lift the van out of the ditch? WWE superstars were so hot. Strong. I mean strong. Ugh. Come on, Velma. You want to solve this mystery or don't you? All right. Dog Wonder, please read the bait. What was that? I couldn't hear you. Please, Dog Wonder, go do your job. I'm Scooby Doo. Dog Wonder. Dog Wonder, Wonder. Scooby-Doo, you're safe now. It is my greatest honor and privilege to award you fine young adults an honorary appreciation degree for capturing the Manic Minotaur of Mainsley Manor. Shaggy, enough with the comics. Pay attention, we're getting an award. Blue Falcon and Dynamite. <laughs> yeah, uh, do you guys think you could unmask me now? I've been hanging up here all night. This net really chafes in all the wrong places. Sorry there, Mr. Bad Guy. It takes a lot to plan these kind of award ceremonies, apparently. Let's see who's really behind all the computer thefts. Horton McGuggenheim? Horton McGuggenheim? He 
yeah, yeah, like big surprise, the geek with the glasses was stealing all the computers. Can we wrap this up now? I suppose you all want to know why I did it. Well, it all started back in my childhood. No, no, we're good. Don't need to know why. <laughs> like, take them away, officers. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.